Now let's talk about some system defined methods which you'll be using inside your test methods or in your test classes. And the number one method which we need to consider or which we need to discuss is start test. Let's see what this method means. So start test over here. Method marks the point in your test code when the ac uh, test actually begins and stop tests uh, like comes after the start test method and marks the end point of an actual test code. So like let's say you have created a code, like let's say you have created a code from here to here. But in these lines of the test code that you have written down, a lot of lines are just waste, like they are of no use. But the actual test begins from this line to this line. Like this is the actual code which tests the functionality or this is the actual code uh, where you are testing the uh, functionality and this is the actual test code basically. So in this case if you will mark the start point with the help of test dot start, uh, start test method and the end point with test dot stop test method this will help you reset or uh, yeah reset the governor limits for this particular block of code inside a test execution or inside a test run. Let me tell you what that basically means. Let me just delete it once again and explain it all to you. So like let's say, uh, okay, here's the purpose. Any code that executes after the call to start test and before stop test is assigned a new set of governor limits. Any code that executes after the call to stop test is arranged the original limits that were in effect before the start test was called. So let me tell you uh, what this basically means and what governor limits means. Uh, we have a complete chapter in which we have covered governor limits, what exactly they are and why they are important in a multi-tenant environment like Salesforce uh, where you are writing code and using a multi-tenant environment to execute it. So for that we will not dig deeper into what are governor limits, for that you can watch out the video for governor limits. Uh, but let's talk about uh, why this test.start test and test dot test stop test method is created. So inside a test class, you have written like let's say, I mean, 100 lines or like 200 lines to test a particular functionality. But very few lines or not very few, like let's say 20 lines only uh, are the ones which are testing a particular functionality. And uh, the functionality will only be, only be executed once, but the governor limits involved uh, with, the with the test code as well as with the uh, the code that you will be executing to test the functionality will be considered as the same. So in order to like, uh, yeah, in order to reset the governor limits or to, uh, in, in order to assign a new set of governor limits to a particular block of code, you can mark like let's say at this point of, you can just mark at start and at this point, let's say you can mark it as stop. So yeah, it can be start test and stop test and we, like the moment you write down test dot start test method, a new set of governor limits will be assigned and the moment uh, you write down at the point, uh, you write down test dot stop test, uh, at that particular moment, uh, whatever the code which is between the start test and the stop test will be considered as a single unit which should have a separate governor limits. And all the rest of the code, this one and this one, will have the original set of governor limits. So yeah, whenever you think that uh, whatever code you are trying to test or whatever code that you are trying to execute might reach or exceed the governor limits that has been set by Salesforce, uh, then in that case you can take help of test.start test method and test.stop test method in order to assign a new set of uh, governor limits to that particular code. But you might be thinking that what exactly is the situation in which uh, this uh, like uh, I mean uh, the code that we are executing as a test code or the code that we are uh, trying to test which is the real functionality might exceed the governor limits or when 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 it can actually exceed the governor limits. So like let's say if in the test code you are uh, creating a test data right and that also counts against the governor limits and you have created a lot of test data and inside the functionality also there is a lot of uh, data that gets created into the database. And like the limits might uh, exceed like the cumulative uh, limits of both the uh, different uh, things where we are creating data into the database or we are yeah, where we are 
uh, inserting new data into the database might cumulatively exceed the governor limit. So in order to avoid that situation, we can use test.starttest and test.stoptest uh, test to assign a new set of governor limits to the functionality itself uh, so that it, 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 it doesn't uh, exceed the governor limits just because of the test data creation uh, that we are doing inside the test class or inside the test code. So yeah, that's what it is. And here's a simple example. As you can see, uh, we have created a class, uh, we've created a method and over here we are creating test data and this test data might uh, bring us to a situation in which it uh, it uh, like the, the whole code can exceed the governor limits. So in order to avoid that, we are uh, we are just writing out test dot start test in order uh, to assign a new set of governor limits to the actual apex code testing that we want to do, and then we'll write down test dot stop test. And by the way, a lot of people in order to avoid the governor limits while testing uh, use a lot of them. Uh, inside the Apex code testing uh, itself rather than just uh, separating it from the test data for the same functionality they use it multiple times uh, I think that's very much that should be very much avoidable because if that's the situation your functionality which you're actually testing is not bulkified enough or is, is, is not optimized enough in order to avoid reaching the governor limits so this is something that you need to be aware of and that you need to take care of while writing the code into a test class uh, which might reach governor limits or exceed governor limits.